Hi guys, have you ever noticed how the media will grill opposition MPs on cost when they introduce a new policy? Recently in the news discussion surrounded a UBI project and the first question was how much will it cost and how will you pay for it? But this question seems never to be asked of the Tories and certainly on the issue of immigration and asylum. Now Marina Perkis seems to be the only commentator that has mentioned the cost of the Tories terrible illegal migration bill. Here she explains in simple terms the ridiculousness of the costs involved. Spending six billion to try and stop this. We're talking about six billion on the people that wouldn't even feel like Newcastle United's football ground, right? And another thing I think people need to be aware of here, the, num the numbers, the sums, right? Because the, the government is telling us that we need this illegal mi migration bill because the cost of legal migration is too high. We're spending £7 million a day at the moment mm -hmm. housing these people, which, by the way, is a failure of the Home Office because we are, they're in there for over six months and we're paying for them because we're not processing them. So that's £7 million, that's a failure of the Home Office, right? So £7 million a day is £2.5 billion a year. So that is half the cost, I think it's cost of the 6 the, billion I think the and uh, billion a year right so, so and and this bill is it breaks international law it's cruel it's unworkable it's not a deterrent so is it worth it absolutely not so it's what scandalous. would you do to deter these small boats coming over i think for as long as you've got people fleeing persecution and whatever else and you don't have safe routes we're going to continue to get them people des desperate people are very difficult to stop can you imagine if they took this £6 billion and invested it in processing claims, in providing the Home Office with the resources it needs to process these claims and bring down the backlog? Because if you bring down the backlog and you process claims, people can move on to, they can either be deported or they can move on to the next stage and eventually contribute to society where they're able to work, they're able to build their lives, they're able to provide a service to the British people. Maybe be a doctor or an engineer or, or work in some way. This, which they want to do. So this six billion, and isn't it interesting that whenever, you know, there's a, a policy about where we need to help people out with, when it comes to welfare or dealing with housing issues or homelessness or whatever, the, the Tories will say, well, that's too expensive. It's, you know, it's a waste of taxpayer money helping poor people. But when it comes to throwing money into a, a hole in the ground, and this is basically a hole in the ground because it's not going to deter people, it's not going to bring down the numbers. It's about putting people on barges. It's about giving money to France. It's about sending money to Rwanda. None of these things are going to work. But it's, it's okay to spend that money. Wouldn't it make more sense for the Tories to put their hands in their pockets and spend this money? This, is, this wasn't part of a manifesto. S saying we're going to spend £6 billion on stopping boats. But once again, when it comes to helping ordinary people, well, that's a cost that we can't afford to spend, that we can't afford to absorb. But when it comes to something like this, yeah, we have to spend billions of pounds, £6 billion. Once again, if they had invested that in bringing down the cases, you would save money on, on also on hotels because you'd be able to move people out of the hotels and into regular accommodation. People would be able to contribute. It would actually boost the economy. There's a shortage of workers and instead the Tories want to keep people in hotels. They, you know, some of it is corruption, you know, some donors to the party uh, or whatever are benefiting from this. But once again, you're, you're creating a massive problem you're not providing a solution. You're throwing money at the problem. Why? In order to keep racists and bigots on board. This is the whole motivation behind this entire issue. It's not about stopping boats. It's not about breaking the, uh, the network of people smugglers. This isn't the motivation. It's about making sure that we have something, and this is the Conservative Party's thinking, I believe, we have something that we can use uh, going into the next election. The Labour Party don't want to stop the boats. We're the ones who want to stop the boats. You notice they're not running on on the economy or on education or the NHS. And look at what we have we have uh, succeeded in achieving in, in the last 13 years. No, they don't run on those because they know it's a failure and the public are not happy with the current situation when it comes to those issues. So all they have left 
is immigration. We're going to stop the boats and we're willing to spend billions to do that. Well done to Marina for calling this out because I hear very few people call this out. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.